Learning your ABCs with all your buddies. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we. Hey kids, I'm Pastor G and we're about to kick off another episode of Bible ABCs. Miss Jillian, how about you go ahead and get started? I gotta look for something. Oh, well, okay. Well, this Ugh. week our letter is K. This is an uppercase K, and this is a lowercase K. K makes the K sound like in the word kind Aww. or ketchup. Oh, man. What are you doing down there? What I, are you looking for? I lost my keys. I keep on losing them. Did you lose them when you were kickboxing with the kangaroo? No, remember that tournament got KO'd this year. Although it might have happened when I was kung fu fighting with the koala bear from Kansas. Or perhaps it might have happened when I was practicing karate with kiwis from Kentucky. <laughs> We are getting a little off track again. Um, here is something that can help tell us about our Bible character. Hey, the word king does start with the letter K, and there are lots of kings in the Bible. Some were good kings and some were bad kings. King David was one of the best kings. What made David such a good king? Well, King David was brave. Even before he was a king, he had to watch over and protect his father's sheep from the lions and the wolves that were trying to kill them. Later, King David fought the giant Goliath, who had a great big shield and sword and spear, and all David had was a sling and some small stones. Still, the Lord was with David, and the Holy Spirit helped King David do lots of things, including defeat Goliath, that he never could have done on his own. I wonder if King David ever did kung fu or karate fighting. Did King David do anything other than fighting battles? Oh, sure. Lots of things. For instance, he wrote praise songs to God, which are called psalms, and they're in the Bible. It makes me wonder if he did karaoke, too. But he definitely was a good leader, and he made some mistakes. But most of the time, he protected God's people and listened to what God had to say, which is really important. Doesn't the Bible call Jesus the son of David? That's right. King David was the best king of the Old Testament, and God made David a promise. He told him that one of the sons of his family would rule forever. Well, Jesus is that forever king. Just like King David, he protects us and takes care of us. That's why Jesus is our king and he's our good shepherd. I'm glad that Jesus is my king. I'm more than okay with him being my king too. Well, we'd love to see you at our next episode. Toodaloo! Man, it's not just my keys. I keep losing my files, too. Oh, -ho! so you're the culprit. We're gonna settle this right here, right now. We're not taking this to no kangaroo court. We're gonna settle this mammal-y mammal. -y -mammal. Oh, never mess with marsupials. <laughs> I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we.